In this video today, I'm gonna to show you four easy upgrades that you can make to your rifle to make you a million times better of a shooter. This video is more for the people that are getting into long range shooting. It's not, it's more or less not really for those guys with the $10,000 Barrett Mark 22 with the removable fleshlight on it and in the, the flux capacitor with the $10,000 night force scope and they shoot a thousand rounds a week. This one is more for people that, you know, maybe bought like a rifle like this, like a Savage Access or, you know, a Remington 770 or something like that. And they want to get into rifles. They want to get into long range shooting and they go to the range and they can't get it on paper, they can't group it, they don't really know how to fix that or kind of what to do. If you do these four easy things to your rifle, I promise you, you will fix all of those problems and you will become a lot better shooter and you'll have more fun and you will have a lot smoother shooting experience. Number one, I'm number one. We all knew that though, but for real. Number one, no, it is not to get the removable uh, flashlight on the end of your rifle. Stop that. It's not that. It's the muzzle brake. You need to get a muzzle brake. This is my very first thing that I do to all of my rifles if they do not already have one on there is I get a muzzle brake put on. This is kind of the hardest one to do because if it's not threaded from the factory, you gotta send it to a CNC shop, you gotta send it to a machinist or a, gun, a gunsmith or whatever it may be, and they will have to thread your barrel. Then you can screw on the muzzle brake. Why I feel that the muzzle brake is the most important upgrade to your rifle is for one thing. And no, it is not the recoil, oh, it hurts my shoulder, don't be a pussy. Don't be a pussy. That's my remedy to that. Just don't be a pussy. But it's for those follow-up shots. I've heard it time and time and time and time again where people go to the range and they're just like, I fire around and then I lose sight of the target. I'm like, yeah, because there's a lot of recoil and it's firing and it's going that way or it's going this way and you're not. We're not holding it right and stuff like that. And it's very hard to group a rifle that way. So in the beginning, if you get a muzzle brake, it's going to make the rifle a lot smoother shooting. It's going to reduce a lot of the recoil and you're going to be able to follow up shots where you don't lose your sight picture. You don't have to adjust your, your body position. You don't have to do anything. So that is, in the beginning, that's what you really want your rifle to do. You don't want to lose that sight picture. You want to keep that sight picture um, as, as close to as it originally was for the entire time you know you are shooting, especially when you are zeroing a, a rifle, you know. Number two, bipod. Please do not get no cheap airsoft piece of crap. All right, we're not communists. We don't buy stuff from China. <laughs> this camera was made in China. Uh, these glasses were made in China. Hell, this sweatshirt was made in China. But we do not buy gun parts from China. All right. You want to get a good quality bipod. This one on here is a Caldwell. It was like 40 bucks from Cabela's and it's a piece of crap, all right? It's, I can't even, look how, look how wobbly it is. See how it's like shaking all over the place and stuff like that? It's really loose. Um, it's not, it's not giving you a stable, a stable position and it just sucks. So please do not buy an airsoft cheap airsoft bipod off of Amazon. Buy a quality bipod, a Harris, um, an Atlas, and there's a bunch of other brands. Just do not buy an airsoft piece of crap. Please, just get a Harris. They're, they're about 120 bucks, kind of expensive, I know, but it will make your shooting experience a lot better. One thing that a lot of people, not even new shooters, a lot of people overlook is their scope rings. This is number three. Buy good scope rings. I've said it time and time again, and I've seen people, they show up with these really nice scopes, and they have these crappy Amazon, Amazon scope rings on them. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Don't do that. Buy a good set of scope rings, well-made, well-manufactured, because if you don't, the caps are gonna come loose, your, your scope's gonna shift in the rings, and then you're gonna lose your zero, and it's, it's just gonna be a big mess. It's gonna be a big mess. Also, when you're putting your scope in the rings and stuff like that, some people don't like to use Loctite. I don't really know why I use Loctite, but if you're afraid to use Loctite, this is a trick that I've always done, clear, clear nail polish. If you get like your girlfriend or your boyfriend or whoever 
and they have nail clear nail polish. If you put a little bit of that, a dab of that on the threads, it will hold your it will hold torque a lot better, and it's not as hard to remove as say Loctite or something like that. Clear nail polish that's really helped me out in the past, and um, try it out. Let me know what you think. But please get a good set of scope rings. You don't want crap scope rings. And last but certainly not least is your scope. Why I put the scope as the fourth upgrade is because if you just get like a, if this, if say this was the scope that was on the rifle when I bought it, you can still go learn on that rifle. All right. You can learn about elevation. You can learn about windage. You can learn about dope. You can learn about bullet drop and wind corrections and all sorts of stuff. You don't need a $5,000 scope to, to learn those things. In the beginning, you do not need those. When you get more experience and you get better and you get more comfortable, then yes, go upgrade to the Night Force, the Leupold. They're amazing scopes. They're really good and they will, they will help you out um, tremendously. But in the beginning, you do not need to buy no $5,000 scope, all right? Please, please, please do not go and do that. Because the things that are in those scopes and the capabilities of those scopes, you're not even gonna scratch the surface of it when you're still trying to figure out elevation and windage, all right? They're very advanced scopes and they have a lot of technology in them to help out the shooter, but that is down the road. That is way down the road. Uh, in the beginning, there's nothing wrong with a $500, $400 uh, Vortex. Vortex makes really, really good affordable scopes. I love Vortex um, and I, I very true to them and they got some great scopes. Get a nice first focal plane, cheaper scope cheaper scope. You can either get it in mills or MOA. I recommend mills. I just think it's a little easier, but I shoot both. I would just go with mills. Um, I grew up on MOA. That's why I kind of stuck with it, but I'm trying to transition to mills because it's just a lot easier to do calculations and stuff like that. So those are the four big things that you should do to your rifle if you want to become a better shooter. Let's go back through it. Muzzle brake, number one. Bipod, number two scope rings, and then your scope. If you disagree with me, please leave it in the comment section. Um, I know you can get farther into it, like, you know, your scope and your, or excuse me, your trigger and your chassis and stuff like that. Yes, those are big parts as well. But in the very beginning, if you upgrade those four things, I promise you, you will become a lot better shooter. You will have more fun and then you'll be willing to learn more. Cause I, I've been there, dude, you know, like you're just at the range and you just can't even get it on paper. You went through 50, 60 rounds and you're not seeing any progress and you get discouraged and you're like, man, I'm done with this. Screw this. I'm never coming back. Please, please don't be that guy. If you upgrade your rifle with those four simple things, I promise you, I promise you, you will have a lot better shooting experience. And I know all gun tubers say this, but they say it for a reason. This is also extremely important. Train, train. You gotta go to the range, you know? You're not gonna get better just, you know, watching videos. You're not gonna get better reading articles. You gotta go train. If I had a choice of no muzzle brake, no bipod, no crappy scope and crappy rings, or 3,000 rounds of ammo and a nice range, I would take the 3,000 rounds of ammo in the nice range all day, every day, because that's the only way you're going to get better. It's not the rifle, it is the shooter. I've been outshot by, by people with $200, $200 rifles, and I was, and I was shooting my $10,000 uh, uh, Barrett Mark 22. you know? So it's, it's, not, it's, not all the, it's not all the rifle. You can do things to help you out and make it a little better, but it's not the rifle. So please, please, please go train, go get ammo, go to the range, learn, fail, experience. That is how you become a lot better shooter. So please, thank you guys for watching. If you can just hit that subscribe button, leave a comment. Then hit that like button. Really, really helps me out. Um, I'm gonna try making some more videos. We'll see how it goes. I just haven't been motivated in the last couple months, but hope you guys liked it. Hope it helps you out. Um, please let me know your experience and I'll see you guys back out there. Later.